Hello everyone, Sons and Duck 2, welcome to another mod overview, this time on Block Shifter. A mod that simply adds in the ability for you to use a Block Shifter type block, or Block Shifter rail, sorry, that uh, allows you to pretty much have blocks go up and down on the rails. It's activated by redstone. Uh, rails are placeable in any direction, so they can be obviously vertical like so, they can be like here or otherwise, probably even upside down, even on the ceiling sort of thing, so you can do quite a bit with them. Uh, otherwise you've got the ability for it to, rem to move players and other entities, like for elevation or elevators, and you've got movable tile entities if enabled, which is only available with the fabric version as you need carpet. Uh, otherwise, they move similar to drawers, moving blocks that stand over the end of the rails. How much is overhang is taken into account depending on how many empty block spaces there are. Uh, when experimenting you will probably pull out some blocks from the ground, which as you can see here I've already done with the sand on accident. So yeah, and I'm just trying to mimic the example one here, and as I'm no expert at redstone, I thought I'd just see in that what I can get. Um, so yeah, so for example, um, technically that's not there in the example, but when I actually did activate it, uh, sorry, place some redstone here, it would actually move it. So if we get rid of this here, that's going to do that. So that'll shift it down. We just remove this and do this, it'll shift it up for us. As you can see, it is taking quite a bit with it, which we don't technically need. Um, but if you need leave enough space, then obviously it won't need to worry. Um, so it will pull stuff from below, but if you don't have any space there, it'll be completely unavoidable. So obviously, with a system like this, I'm no expert at redstone, so I just followed what was in the example. Um, but as far as I can tell, obviously, it'll just sort of do its thing. This is a locking mechanism, of course, to prevent it from going any further. And obviously, if I just remove this and place this, I think it'll shift it down. Yes, it will. And there's obviously enough space as well where it can, whilst before there wasn't enough space, so it couldn't move it. So, there we go. I don't know if it'll push any further blocks down because of the fact that we've now gotten rid of that sand and otherwise before and that it's going to push blocks through down below. I don't think that's possible, but either way. So yeah, I'd say if you wanted to go with a system like this, um, which I don't exactly know what it's called, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, with the following ones here, sending the signal accordingly, you've got the ability to make a um, uh, castle gate. Um, now, obviously, if I were to do maybe something similar, I could do this with a drawbridge, I assume. And I'll try and mimic what I can here. In the other, obviously this is for... Uh, technically shouldn't matter whether it's vertical or horizontal, I assume, but I don't know. I'm no redstone expert. So let's see what we can get going once I place enough blocks here to then get enough redstone going. But either way, I'll just let this play, um, and obviously you can see what it does that way, besides what I've already shown. And let's see, so we'll get the same setup. Let's see, so we need, right, so we need, okay, a stone, yeah, and there. This and this and this and this. Oh, okay, you do need to those blocks, so it was actually wrong. Okay, fair enough then. Okay, so we need this to go here and here, possibly here. Let's we'll go about this far. That shouldn't affect it. Yeah. That should be done. So we'll just go here, and we'll finish up with, I'll actually block that because that's going to be annoying. Okay, so we need, let's see, 
you this side, you this side, you and you, you need to go here, your locking mechanism, and we need redstone down here, and then we get rid of you. Get rid of all this because it's annoying and not really that helpful here. There we go. We'll take you down here and you down here and we'll just sort of follow this along. And let's see, so we need you here, that there, that there, that here. Turn you off. And then we need that there, that there. And that's technically going to ruin it. I mean, it's a short form one, so it makes sense. Yeah, 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 it'll try and do something that we need. And we'll go fences again. Yeah, we'll just go with something else. Um, glass, maybe? Let's see. Um, hmm. Acacia logs, maybe. I don't know. Now that's for that though. I don't think you can, can place them that away. No, so you can't place them the way I was thinking, but you can if it's on top at least. That's probably more so the case. Um, how do I want to do this? Yeah. Right. Um, hmm. We'll actually just do this and just sort of rotate everything accordingly. Ah, come on. Shouldn't drag too much with it either, so that'll be fine. We'll do this and this. Right. And we'll give ourselves enough space for it to use the rail. I know that's not exactly the same on both sides, but we'll just expand it out by one, just because we want. And let's see, so if we do this now, what happens? Is that going to push it? Possibly not. Okay, so if we do this and this, or does it not work with certain solid blocks, for example? Possibly not that sort of way then, which is likely. Again, obviously you had to go off the example for the other one, so I'm no expert here. I guess as I missed something. But yeah. Oh well, you get the idea though. Um, obviously with something like an elevator, I'd assume you probably have to use push out or um, and then make it go up or you do the same thing where for example you just have it like this but it has more blocks on the side I assume push up so for example oh that's also going to update okay so you could have like multiple blocks just pushing there so if we just get rid of this and just say actually put a bunch of these here because why not I think and then we just do this Try this with an elevator-like approach, but still keep the fences, just because why not? Now we'll see what happens. Oops, we're blocking it. We're doing that. You're not needed, so we're going to want to put you here. And it'll try and take one of them up. Okay, so it's not going to activate, it's not going to touch that one because it's not affected. But we're now obviously being pushed up, as you can see here, with it. So, there's that. And if we do this around the side, does it have to be the same height? That's what I'm not sure. I assume so, possibly, yeah. So take a look, and there's this, and that's not doing that. Ah, right, yeah, because it's on the left side. Whoops, um, radio. So if we do this, and this, and this, We'll do that and that and that. Oops. Let me consider the actual position of that. That and that and that and that. And that, and that. And here we go. Radio. Okay then. So if we do this, we'll also push it up. Maybe, maybe not. Okay.
we have to put it directly into the wall? Yes, we do. Okay. We can stand on this and we'll just be in the fence, of course. So, and that's now back up there. The joining of the fences is a bit off, so yeah. You get the idea though. Um, so, draw castle gate and elevator. Success. The other is probably possible, I just don't know what I'm doing. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.